Spend the morning with us learning about diving and coral reef monitoring here on Inyaka Island, Mozambique. I'm here with Maputo Dive Center on a scientific diving trip and today we are finally getting in the water. But nothing prepares me for what we are going to see. Our morning starts with the Zero to Hero program students practicing underwater navigation on land which is a welcome refresher for me as well. Before we go over how the photographic reef monitoring will work. On land it seems straightforward but underwater we will have all types of conditions. Once we're ready we gear up and head to the boat. This dive gives a scientific diving students more underwater experience as they are busy with their Paddy Advanced Open Water course. Mark off some time to monitor the reef and the rest of us to get a glimpse of what is really happening down here. But what we see breaks my heart. The temperatures of the water have not dropped yet and this is the most extensive coral bleaching I've personally ever witnessed. Everywhere I look, I see an endless brown and white. But here and there, there are signs of life. The corals of Inyaka Island are used to harsh intertidal zones, so some of these may recover, but much of it already seems lost. If these coral reefs disappear, so will all the fish that depend on them, which isn't just an ecological disaster, but it's also detrimental to the livelihoods of those who depend on them. It's a powerful reminder of why it is so important what Maputo Dive Center is doing on their scientific track with the help from their grantees, like the MPA grants from the Paddy Aware Foundation and their foundational sponsor, Blanc Pan. The reef is in trouble, but what gives me hope is this, local capacity leading the way, sharing knowledge and growing stronger.